But really, do in in most cases, do I really want to be a part of the human race? Because trees are the ones that have together. You know, they don't they don't have any of these problems. Uh, so I mean, uh, I would. Uh, I would advocate, you know, training your children to be trees, you know. <laughs> it might not go over in school very well at first, but persevere. But trees, uh, you know, they have everything. They're, they're my, I mean, truthfully, I'm, making, I'm not making a joke here, so quit laughing. Um, <laughs> the trees are, are my model home. You know, they, they go up there and they, they have solar collectors, photosynthesis, they get the sun. They catch some water, the roots go down in the soil and get the water. They drop uh, uh, leaves and twigs and they become dirt and the dirt becomes food. I mean, it's just so well figured out. You know. Tree, I mean, this is in my mind a lot about trees, believe me. Um, and I thought, well, what if that was a mommy and a daddy there and that was a bunch of little uh, baby humans. You know, all these little trees were just there doing the same thing that the big trees did. Well, the, if it was a bunch of baby humans, they'd all be crying and screaming and shitting in their pants and everything. It'd just be, it'd be a joke. It, the, the humans have to be cared for. And uh, whereas the trees, you know, the seed comes up and they're, they've got it together. In other words, there's a lot to learn from trees, but also animals. You know, when I look at the planet for information the last place i'm going to go is to you know, <laughs> you know the, the trees know what they're doing the animals know what they're doing the insects know what they're doing you know uh, uh dogs uh my black dog he lays in the sun in the winter time and he lays in the shade in the summertime <laughs> what a concept <laughs> Wow! You know, and there's a lot of things like that, you know, <laughs> that are out there. Uh, all you have to do is just, you know, uh, quit doing what you're doing. But, uh, so, it's, it's, it is ridiculous what's going on here. It is funny, but it's uh, sad. So anyway, we just are, how can you, the, the point is, how can you argue with people like we have on this planet. I try, you know. Beyond, uh, out of uh, a different realm. It's almost like I always try to come up with ways to try to tell myself what's going on so I don't get mad at people, but uh, it's like our whole world of humans is defined in black and white. And some really smart humans figured out, whoa, kids, there's all these shades of gray in between. We've got lots of choices. But none of them are aware of the fact that there's a whole color spectrum. They can't, they can't go there. Where our human world is as limited as black and white and all the shades in between. But the answers for how to live in the future are out there in the color spectrum and think how many of them there are. So it's just, it's just go, you know, out there and get them and quit doing what you're doing.